Joshinator, you wanted a Pelicans pack. Well, I'm cool with that. We're going to open up a New Orleans Pelicans pack. What's good, everybody? I'm back again with another video after a long time away from my team. As you see, we pull Al Farouk Aminu. It's been a minute since you've seen a video from me, guys. I know. I've been doing those Madden 15 ratings. I really just haven't had time to actually get a video out to you guys. But it's the weekend now, and I'll be able to get these videos back out to you on the regular. Last weekend, I was out of town. I told you about the basketball tournament. I didn't get it recorded, but I will tell you what happened. As you see the JV squad, we had a game to go to the Final Four, and we ended up with six people on the court with three seconds left in a tie ball game, and we got a technical foul, and we lost the game. Yes, that's how it went down. As you see the lineup in the JV squad, you saw the guys. If you didn't see what happened in the varsity, you need to go check that out because two of those guys are going down to the JV after this game and two guys from the JV are going to get called up. So make sure you write down in the comment section on who you think needs to get called up as you see AI hitting an early triple against me. Now there's something about this AI. I have the other AI and he doesn't hit anything. His AI on the other hand hit everything. As you see Paul George knocking down the three. Now Michael Jordan misses the shot. We're going the other way. Gasol with the great rebound. Yeah, we throw the lob up to Sean Kemp. Now, Gasol, he's a big body. He's very defensive. He takes charges. I like him a lot. As you see, we get this pass deflection to steal going the other way. We're lobbing it up to Sean Kemp once again. Kemp looks like a man that's ready to get up to the varsity. Now, AI dribbling back and forth. It's like nearly impossible to stop it, but we do get the turnover. Paul George in the passing lanes once again. We throw the lob up to that dude, the Rain Man. We're up 14-6. We get a nice early lead. Paul George with another steal. Now he's going to take it all the way. And he throws the lob up to Russell Westbrook, who finishes it, making it 16-6. The my opponent would not go away. He has Steph Curry. And Steph Curry got hot fast. We get another steal. We're getting a lot of turnovers. We're pushing it up. And GP, the gloves, showing you what it takes to get above the rim with that flush. Now, Joe Johnson... Yeah, Mojo Joe Johnson has been chilling. He's been on the JV for a minute as he finds Al Horford for the easy layup. It is 22 to 11 in the first quarter. I'm liking our chances. Now we swing it over to Paul George, and he is hot. I don't know what it was, man. Paul George has been playing well since he has not been called up to the varsity like everybody else. He's been wanting to be on the varsity, and this may be his day. As you see, AI, over two people get that layup to go. It is 25 to 19 now. We have another move down low with Sean Kemp, and he goes up and in. I'm telling you guys, Sean Kemp really wants that call. Now, AI. Wow, it will not let you block him. AI gets the layup. It's 31 to 28. Kyrie Irving pushing it right back the other way. Kicks it out to Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay misses, and now Mutombo finds LeBron James, and there's nothing we can do about that. LeBron gets that easy layup. Now they throw it down low. We rip Brooke Lopez. Now we're pushing it up with Paul George. Paul George swings it over to Rudy Gay, kicks it back out, and Westbrook knocks down the easy mid-range. So it's 35-32. We get that inbound steal right there, and we throw the lob up. Rudy Gay's like, all right, I'll go up and get it. He gets the monster jam. So it's 37-32 now. Iverson's coming right back. Now it's like nearly impossible to play on ball with this guy because he did a lot of zigzagging, so... I just played off ball on this guy this game. As you see, we throw it up, and PG wisely uses the left hand for the flush and not getting blocked by Jordan from behind. I like to see that. We swing it over. We kick it right back to Paul George, and I'm telling you guys, Paul George going up to the varsity. I don't care what y'all say. He is going up. The question is, who else is going to go up with him? Because Paul George is playing lights out this game. As you see, he gets the shooter's roll with the AI three-pointer. We bring it back out. Kevin Love who's been demoted from the varsity, still cannot find anything. He may be gone from the junior varsity, keeps this up, as Paul George keeps us with the lead. 47-43, now it's 47-45. He swings it out, we're playing the passing lane. Kevin Love finally makes something happen on the defensive end. And we throw the lob up, and come on, Rudy Gay, you're showing no chill right now. He does that on an alley-oop. Now, Sean Kemp tries to throw behind his back out of a double team and turns the rock over. And AI goes up for another flush. We have a tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook right down the lane getting that flush right back with an answer. 
Top ball game once again, Al Horford. This time wants to post up. He's wanting to show what he got. He goes right up over Brooke Lopez and gets that layup for two. It is once again tied. Now he has the ball. Now he's trying to just go back and forth. And now Durant, the MVP, gives them the lead with under three minutes left in this ball game. We call for the screen. Gary Payton swings it down low to Al Horford. Al Horford is just abusing Kevin Durant, who's playing the four for them right now. We're just taking our time and getting easy buckets down low. Now Curry going back and forth. Curry going back and forth. There's nothing you can do about that. We're just going to stand there with the computer. Then I switch over, make him throw up a bad shot. We get the rebound. Now later in this possession, we're going to go right back down to Al Horford. And Al Horford gets a layup. Now Sean Kemp's like, I want to go up to varsity. And then, you know, we got guys like Al Horford saying, I want to be on the varsity too. But Paul George, late here in this ball game, hits the big clutch shot, giving us a two-point lead with 30 seconds left. Now he's going back and forth with Michael Jordan. There's nothing we can do about that, man. Jordan gets ripped, but they call a kickball. So it's a kickball violation. He gets another chance. And somehow when I was trying to get the inbound steal, I intentionally fouled. So he goes to the line for two. He knocks the first one down with Jordan. He has a chance to tie it up. If he ties it up, we're holding the ball for the last shot. He misses, and now he has to intentionally foul. We end up getting Kyrie Irving to the line. Kyrie knocks down the first free throw. So we're up two. Kyrie's so happy LeBron's coming home, but he misses this free throw right here. It's a two-point game. He swings it over to AI. We're making sure we run him off that line, and AI is going to try to find somebody. And he loses the ball, and Lopez goes up, and he is fouled. So Lopez to the line, misses the first. We still have the game. All we got to do is make our free throws. Lopez makes the second. It's a one-point game. I see Rudy Gay, who made the free throws last time against LD2K. I was like, let's go back to this guy. So we go to the line with Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay's been clutch for me. He, he doesn't even want to be on the varsity. Rudy Gay is like, nah, it's not like the JV squad. I don't even want to come close to the varsity. He misses both. Now he has a chance. He gets it over to the greatest player of all time. He misses the three to get the win. We somehow survive. All right, guys. Now let me know in the comment section down below who should get called up to the varsity. At the end of this video, you will see the stats. I need two guys. We know one is going to be Paul George. Who will be the other guy?